Hello, my fellow crafters. I'm Lisa Fulford. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I want to welcome you to my channel, Creative Coach Lisa. Here is where I share ideas and techniques for cards, boxes, and bags, and all things crafty. I want to thank you for taking time out of your busy day and sharing it with me. And today I have a technique that I want to show you, and it's a masking technique, at least that's what I'm calling it. And it's using the art artistically inked stamp set and a few colors and just a few pieces of cardstock and it gives it a, a big wow. So we will get started with this technique. I'm going to bring in our stamps that we're going to use. Those are the stamps that we're using. And then the colors that we're using are Polish Pink, Fresh Freesia, Pale Papaya, and then Just Jade. So I'm going to set these out. I'm also going to bring in some Memento Tuxedo Black ink for the words and our uh, accents. Okay, so what we need for this card are these pieces of cardstock. We have a piece of polished pink, and it's 11 inches by four and a quarter inches. A piece of our basic black, and it's five and three eighths by four and an eighth. And then a piece of very vanilla, and it's five and a quarter by four inches. So this is the piece that we're going to be working with right now. So I'm gonna set this off to the side over here. And then I'm going to sit our card right about there. We can still see it, but it won't be in the way. I need to bring in a piece of scratch paper because we will be stamping off at times off the edge of the paper. And then what makes it where we can do the masking is this it's post-it tape and it's for labeling and covering up but you can use it for crafting so I just pull off a section of it of what I think I'm going to need and then I take my scissors and I trim it off that way it's straight and not that jagged edge okay set my scissors off to the side and then we take that piece of <laughs> the post-it is sticking to me and then we take and we add the center to our card looks like I got a little bit shorter than before but that's okay you can do it whatever size that you want there's a little bit of residue on there, so I'm making certain I get that off there so it won't get on my ink pad. All right, so now then that I've got my piece of post-it tape there, I'm going to open up my inks. And get them ready. Like I said, it's polished pink, fresh, fresh freesia, pale papaya, and our just jade. Okay, so I like to start with the largest image. I want to ink it up.
And this is a technique that you can do multiples of. So I'm gonna come over here and I want to go above and be below the post-it tape. So kind of like that. And then I like to add my pale papaya because it's the next size down. Stamp there. And then down here. And then I want to bring in the fresh freesia. I want to add right there. And then right there. Now is when I like to bring in the leaves so I can start doing some fill in. And you need to make certain that they get ink on both of the leaves. And then I want to come down here, go off the page, but onto the flower and stamp. And then I want to add a stamp of the flower or the leaf up here. And then I want to bring in the smaller leaf and do some fill in. So maybe up there. Right there. up there. That looks pretty good. Okay, so then now then, it's time to bring in the memento and these little accent dots. So I want to add them to the center of that. And then I want to Add some where it looks like it's the center of this flower. Now that I'm I'm right here with this, I want to remove my post-it. Looking for my take your pick tool and I don't know where I laid it, so I'll take a pair of scissors, just lift up the corner. And that re reveals the center where the post-it tape was. And then I want to bring in my thanks. Ink this up. Add it like this. And there's our thanks. All right. So that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to close these up. up out of the way all right so I would need to bring in a larger piece of paper otherwise my whole workstation will be covered and we're going to do another technique so I'm gonna lay this here and then I want to bring in my black Stampin' Write marker and on the brush tip, I want to take the cap off. 
and I want to just ever so lightly splatter my image and then you can add a little you can do a lot and then I'm going to take my Wink of Stella I'm going to do the same with it And this sometimes will do like larger globules of Wink of Stella, depending on how much you had on the brush to begin with. And it's a kind of a shimmer, so I don't mind doing a little bit more of it. Okay. Now then, so there's what that looks like. You can see the little splatters, and then you could see some of the little, like the little globs of uh, the shimmer. So we'll move this out of the way, and we will bring back in our cardstock. Want to line up my edges. Get my bone folder. I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal and take and add a little bit of adhesive to the back of this. And then I'm going to add it to my piece of black stop and it's a an eighth inch smaller so it's going to be ever so slightly a border but it's black to bring out the black in the image that makes it pop and I'm going to add adhesive to the back of this opening correctly. Turn this around. Add it to my polished pink cardstock. And there we go. So there's that. And now on the inside, I want to take the Pale Papaya Down here in the corner, I'm going to stamp that flower. And then I want to take the Fresh Freesia. And add that right there. So that gives some interest on the inside. You could, um, depending whenever you decide who you're going to give your thank you to, you could put another sentiment on the inside or you could leave it blank so that you could do some writing. So there you go. Here's our card. And it doesn't matter the length. This one here is a little bit longer piece of post-it tape. And this was a little bit shorter. I don't measure it. I just cut it off. And as long as it, I think that it's long enough to fit the length of my sentiment that I'm adding then I go with it so there we go there are that's our card that hope you try this fun technique uh, it's super simple if you don't have the post-it tape you could use just a regular piece of um, post-it note cut it to the part at the top is um, the adhesive so I've got some here, so like you would just cut across here and so that the the part that was adhesive was right there. And then you put put this down, and that's about the same width of what I cut that to. And then 
you do your stamping, peel that off, and add your, your words, your sentiment to it. So I hope you give this technique a try. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. And one of the greatest compliments you could give me is to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or just want to leave a comment, down in the comments below of this video, if you would uh, leave your comment there. I love to read what everyone has to say. And I want to thank you for joining me today. And I hope you have a wonderful evening and you enjoy this technique. Goodbye.